Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to talk about and install a dead pedal on the truck. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. So real quick, before we get real into it, I'm gonna show you an example of a dead pedal. This is our 2021 Atlas and both our VWs that we own have a dead pedal. So for those of you that don't know, and this is why I'm doing this, um, it's simply that block of plastic there on the left um, where you would rest your left foot on as you're driving. It kind of keeps your left and right foot kind of at the same level and it gives you something to kind of brace on, which is uh, kind of nice. Now let me take you over to the uh, F-150 and show you what's there. Okay, so we're in the cab of the truck now, and as you'll notice, uh, the floor is generally flat, um, and it's, you know, kind of tilts up a little bit there behind the pedals, but really nothing that would help support your left foot while you're driving. So to solve the problem of not having the dead pedal in the F-150, I'll be installing this Craven Speed uh, dead pedal, and this fits any 09 to 14 F-150 or Raptor. Um, and it's first impressions, it seems pretty, pretty uh, robust. I can't believe that this is eighth inch thick steel. Um, so I was pretty surprised um, when I saw that come in the mail. Um, the texturing is a pretty grippy uh, powder coating. So I'm sure that'll help then rather than the uh, kind of glossy slick powder coating that uh, you sometimes see. Um, overall, the dimensions are roughly uh, 11 by um, five to five and a half. So um, I think that'll be ample room to uh, to put your foot. I mean, I got a flip flop here. Hold, hold on. I've got my flip flop. I mean, that's a size 12 flip flop. And um, basically it can accommodate my whole foot. Um, so it comes with, this is obviously the main dead pedal. Uh, and then this bracket ties in ties the pedal into an existing stud that's on the firewall and um, you do of course get all the necessary hardware um, with uh, nylocks which, which that's really nice um, you like to see that this is made in the usa um, i believe craven speed is out of portland oregon um, and they've got a pretty good warranty as well um, let me read off their website it's kind of funny Craven Speed warrants everything they make, and the time period is infinite. So there you go. Um, I don't know how you would mess mess this up, um, but if you do manage it to, um, you could probably just reach out to them and they take care of you. All right, so real quick, I just kind of wanted to go over how I decided to get one of these and kind of the story that led up to it. Um, so truth be told, I was watching a Morgan Clark design video, and he was talking about dead pedals and kind of talking about how important they are for off-roading and I totally realized that he's building you know trucks that are way more capable capable than anything my truck will be able to do um, but I got to think and I was like you know it's a kind of a good idea and having that stability off-road would be really nice and having that confidence that you're kind of like stable um, and you're in control and you just kind of have something to put your feet on like it's purpose-built um, so I thought that was kind of a um, kind of a neat idea and kind of something that the truck was missing and uh, a problem that I like to solve. So, all right, so now I'm gonna get this thing assembled and installed. Um, assembly is pretty easy. Obviously it's two sets of uh, bolts and washers and nuts um, right up here onto the bracket and then we'll head into the cab and I'll show you just how simple it is. Okay, so I kind of got it mocked up in here um, and it's looking really good. Um, looks super like heavy duty, rugged, um, and like purpose built, which I uh, really appreciate. Um, so I'm kind of at a, a point now where I need to make a decision. And what I'm talking about specifically is, are these two um, screws that go down here in these two holes. So some people don't run any screws down here and they just depend totally on the stud and the uh, hole that's on the uh, upper end of the bracket there into the firewall. Um, I, I don't know if I trust all of that in just a single, um, you know, attachment point. So I think I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run the two screws down here. And so what you basically do is you you drill two pilot holes and then you drill 
uh, two uh, machine screws down into the uh, the floor there. So um, I've also seen on some of the pictures um, around the internet of people just doing this over their floor or over their floor mat. Um, I I do think it looks that might be the best looking result. However, that means anytime you you want to take your floor mat out, I don't know to clean it or to uh, deal with something else. Um, something got under, under the floor mat and you need to, you know, shop back out or something. Uh, that means you have to unscrew this. And I just think that's kind of, um, bad practice. So what I'm probably going to end up doing is trimming the floor mat here. Um, that way this pedal will sit even more flush, um, on the floor. Obviously the carpet's still going to be there. But it, it gets away this out this factor out of the way, and um, once I trim that, I uh, I think I'll be able to get this all set up pretty nicely. So bear with me. I'm gonna um, get these screws put in and get it fully mounted. Get this cut out, and I'll show you what it looks like. So I got installed, and let's take a look. First off the bat, you'll notice that I got the uh, floor mat all cut. Um, fairly simple. I probably could have uh, left a little bit more material up here, but um, I guess I. <clears throat> the, the carpet compressed a little bit, so it's kind of hard to judge. Um, overall installation was super simple. You know, there's there's one bolt up there you might be able to see, and these two screws. All right, so I'm uh, driving around with the uh, dead pedal installed. It's my second little trip with it. Um, I in originally intended on doing a Raptor run today, uh, but it kind of fell through. Um, so I, that would have been a really good test to see how it kind of, you know, held up or how it felt to me. Um, but just driving normally, um, it's kind of nice to have something to put my foot on just like it's, um, I don't know. It just feels kind of natural to like rest your foot on something there. I, I will admit, I kind of have to train myself to, to use it. Um, it's definitely not something that I'm I'm used to, um, and I don't know why I got really I really got in the habit of putting my foot flat on the floor. Um, but but with that, I mean I, I definitely feel like if things were getting a little hairy or um, like I was taking a rough corner and my body was getting thrown around a lot, I fight I could brace on that and really like, stay locked in. Um, I. Uh, I will, I'll show you a clip, but I, I definitely cannot get my foot like 100% parallel with the pedal. I can't do that. My, if I do that, my foot is completely off the ground and my leg is kind of extended up. Uh, it's not super comfortable. So it's kind of like the ball of my foot is resting on the pedal um, and my heel is on the floor of the truck. Uh, I don't really think that's an issue. Um, I don't really know how much longer my legs would have to be. I, I think I have proportionally slightly shorter legs um, compared to a like a slightly longer torso um, but yeah so I, I still think it's serving its purpose it feels like hidden railroad tracks now it, it feels really uh, stable like and super like heavy duty like I'm pushing it kind of like with all my force and it does not feel like it's deflecting or anything like that I mean it's it, it's eight inch steel so it's pretty it's pretty beefy but yeah, overall, I kind of like it. Um, I do think the true test will be off-roading. Um, so we'll see how that goes and I'll update if needed. But yeah, um, easy install and um, I think it's pretty practical and uh, not a huge investment to get something that's a little bit, a little bit nice. So, all right guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. All right, see you in the next one.